times in sport, we see protection gear based on guesswork. We really wanted to make a chest guard that works. So we decided to turn to science. We've set up this punching rig to measure the speed and the force of a karate punch because we couldn't find the information anywhere and we need it in the development of new protective gear um, for WKF. Once we know these forces, we can then set up the lab to replicate them. We develop these strikers, this is the adult version and the youth version, to fire out of the cannon and they give us a pulse that is very, very close to a human strike. We've looked at hundreds of materials and tested dozens to find the most effective material for protection against karate strikes. We've hit the mark with this one. We're seeing real reduction in the forces transmitted through to the athlete. We measured gross force, the spot pressure, and the energy that's being transmitted through the foam. And this, which has been engineered as an impact foam, really gives a, a good reduction in all three measures, whereas some of the other foams were good in one area but not in another. In terms of pressure, that gives us about a 15% reduction in impact for the original WKF material, but for the new material which is being used in the QP Sports prototype, we're getting about two and a half times that protection. This is the material that's come out of the testing. Yeah, no, this is a really interesting foam this, isn't it? Nice and soft, it's going to be really form-fitting, isn't it? It's yep. going to be really nice to wear. And as you can see, we're, we're looking at the high protection areas in the red here, and that, that way we can really concentrate this foam where we need it. Yeah, I see you've um, put, put more protection over the heart areas, the kidney, the diaphragm and the groin, and that's where the karate guys were telling us um, are the most vulnerable areas for them. Yeah. So that makes a lot of sense, Rob. Yep, and all the other areas will be less, much less foam, if there's any foam at all, and, and thus making it a really light product. So yeah. the guys just won't know they're wearing it. At World Karate Federation events, it's compulsory for men and women to wear chest or breast protection. In the final of the men's under 84 kilograms, the um, a current world champion was fighting uh, and just being this close uh, to the action, a couple of metres away, and the build up of the power, even before the technique went, the drive of the, the whole body, the legs, the speed of the punch, uh, and when the blow was delivered, I had absolutely no doubt that if that had it connected, you know, with the right timing and angle, the control element not in there, that that blow could easily have killed. Absolutely no doubt. And here we are, Richard, and prototype number two. Oh, this is looking great, Rob. I love the way it's doing up here. This is nice and slim line and easily to, easy to do up. Nice low profile, high protection areas in the front, around here, very low profile belt around the back here. No buckles, no hard plastic, nothing to hurt or transfer. Good flexibility, really great for when you're kicking, your thigh coming up, there's no resistance, it's all, all movable. The athlete won't even know he's wearing this, it'll be so nice and light and cool, no obstruction to the gi, so the gi will just slip over the top of this as if it was over their body. With help from our scientists and designers, we've created a chest guard for multiple density foams that protects the vital organs but doesn't restrict movement. Most importantly, the key to us was not to modify the behaviour of karate as a sport or martial art. I wouldn't like to see an item that would change and prohibit the mover, moving and the flexibility of, of a, a contestant because that would restrict them in their, their free form. And a few years ago when they didn't have chin and, chin and uh, instep protectors, the contestants, you know, if, if they kick wrong or were in the wrong target area, then they would actually result in an injury themselves. Now with that protection on their feet, people are actually kicking a lot harder because there's no risk for them getting injured. So that then gives uh, the possibility of stronger injuries around the back, around in the front and the rib area, um, which is uh, 
can cause serious injuries. And, that, and sometimes you don't initially see it, but the injury can be actually internal, and you only hear about it after the event. QP Sport stands for quality performers. We're the only company worldwide that solely focuses on chest and breast protection equipment. In fact, we lead the way in impact protection research in sports and breast protection.